Okay, for this demonstration, we're using the PG uh, series microphones made by Shure. Uh, this is the kick drum microphone, the PG52, and the other three are the time microphones, the PG56. These microphones also come with the mounting brackets that mount directly to the tom heads. These brackets allow for easy access and to keep the microphone tucked out of the way and underneath the cymbals. When you're installing these microphones, you want to have them facing in one direction. If you have them facing towards each other, you could have what's known as a phasing problem, and that actually cancels the sound out completely. So it's kind of crucial to have them facing in one direction. It's also important to check and make sure that when you strike the drum head that the microphone is actually aiming right where you strike the head itself. The kick drum microphone can be placed in various places. You can either be a foot inside the drum itself or a foot away from the drum. It really depends on the sound that you're looking for. This also has a frequency range that's a lot larger at the lower end, specifically designed for that kick drum. The overhead pair are actually condenser microphones and they require phantom power. Uh, there's two configurations, the X configuration and the Y configuration. These are the most commonly used. 